Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of prisms, specifically how we can describe prisms and find some examples and non-examples of prisms, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So when we're talking prisms, we're talking about 3D shapes, right? So they're not flat shapes, they're three-dimensional shapes. They have flat sides, and the big thing that makes a prism a prism is they have two identical bases. So let's look at some examples of what prisms are. And the first few will be pretty simple because they'll have the word prism actually in their name. So when we think of prisms, most of us think of these shapes. Now this first one in the bottom is a rectangular prism. So it's a three-dimensional shape and it has two identical bases, right? And you can actually look at the identical bases uh, in many ways, right? So you can have this front rectangle right here is the same as this back rectangle. You could also say that the top rectangle is going to be the same as this bottom rectangle or the sides, right? These sides are the same, but it's think of it like a Kleenex box. That's a rectangular prism, flat sides, and it has at least two identical bases. Now these two are both triangular prisms, but triangular prisms can really look different. So I gave you two examples of these triangular prisms, okay? So this triangular prism, see it's got a triangular base right here. That's one base. And then the other triangular base is down here. So that's what makes this a triangular prism because it's got two bases that are triangles and then it's got flat sides or flat rectangles, you know, connecting these triangular bases. But this is also a triangular prism over on the right. It just happens to be sitting on one of its uh, rectangular faces. So you see, I've got one triangular f base right here. And then I've got another triangular base back here, but it's, like I said, sitting on one of its rectangular faces. So both of those are triangular prisms, but there's a few more prisms for us to look at. So this is actually a cube, and it is a type of prism, prism, even though it doesn't necessarily have the word prism in its title. Because does it have at least two identical bases? Yeah, actually all six faces of these are identical, right? They are all squares. So this is a cube here, and all six faces are squares, and they are all identical. So a cube, right, is a type of prism that simply has six identical faces. All six faces are squares. Now, you can have a multitude of other types of prisms. I just gave you another example here. This is, we have to look at the base, right? Look at our bases here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a six-sided shape is going to be a hexagon. So this is a hexagonal prism. Because what we have here, we have two hexagons. Remember, two identical bases. So I've got my hexagon on top. I've got my hexagon on the bottom. Those are my identical bases. And they are connected by flat rectangles, right? It's not curved. It has flat sides or flat faces connecting the two hex hexagons. You, ha you can have an octagonal prism, any type of shape you can think of, you can, you can put up there as long as the two bases are identical. Now let's look at some examples of 3D shapes that are not prisms. So these three shapes over here are not prisms. What makes them not prisms? Well, they don't have identical bases or they don't have flat sides. So you see we've got all flat sides here on our square pyramid but I don't have an identical base to match the bottom square. So this just has one base, a square, but it doesn't have another square at the top. So that's why it's not a prism, because it only has one base. This has a circular base, right? And it's got a curved side. So this cone right here is not a prism, because it doesn't have two identical bases, nor does it have flat sides. Now. This cylinder does have identical bases, but you've got this curved side right here. So it's got the identical bases, but it's got a curved side, so it's not a prism.